How you doing? Tennessee T. Wayne coming at you for the first time in what feels like years. And I do apologize for that. I've been really busy. Been having to work a lot here lately. Uh, so I ain't got to make any videos or nothing. I ain't really got to do much. I like to make videos somewhere besides my damn couch. But I ain't really got to go anywhere else much. But um, It's been a while. I've been pretty busy the last couple weekends. Uh, well, I got I got paid two two Fridays ago. I get paid tomorrow, but two week two weeks ago I got paid. And uh, I've been sleeping on this damn couch here, this fucking couch, for like four damn years since me and my ex-wife split up. I ain't had a bed. I mean, I had a bed, but it's a piece of shit, and the boards aren't broken. I was too lazy to fix it. So I and it was like. Looked like it come over on Noah's Ark. So, I decided two weeks ago I was going to buy me a brand new bed. So, I went to Big Lots. Me and my buddy, I went and picked him up, Roy. Me and old Pee Wee, we took it, we went to Big Lots in Lisbeth. Liz and, uh, found a pretty decent bed. Um, uh, where I worked third shift, you know, nights. The sun here, you know, which I can sleep in that morning. It'll matter if the sun's shining, if it ain't shining or wherever. If I lay down, I'm out. But I thought I'd get a little bit more sleep if I blacked my old room out. So I cleaned it up real nice. I had I had kind of turned it into a storage room. Cleaned it up, got all that shit out of here and threw it in a damn dumpster. Took it to the dump and uh, went and got me a new bed. And uh, luckily, my dad, I didn't have to buy a frame. My dad had an old frame for a queen size bed. And it's pretty in uh, pretty good decent shape, and he wasn't needing it, so he gave it to me. So all I needed was a box spring and a mattress. So I went and got me with that, and I uh, got me with, uh, a gel memory foam mattress. It's gel memory foam and it's pillow top also. It's pretty comfortable. It feels like sleeping on a cloud. Problem is, I've got so used to sleeping on this damn couch that I've I've literally I've had it for two weeks almost. Tomorrow will make two weeks, and I've literally only slept on it three times, and that's bad. I, it's probably a waste of money, but I just lay down here and be on Facebook or something, and I'll pass the hell out. But I'm gonna try to start sleeping in it more, so I wasn't a waste of money. But I, I, mean, I tell you, I mean, I'm not old, but I'm not getting any younger, and this old couch is broke down and wore out and everything else, and it's putting a hurt on me. I'll be in a wheelchair the time I'm 30 if I don't start sleeping in my bed. But anyway, it was a. Uh, I got the mattress, the box spring, I got me some black some uh, dark black uh, curtains to black out the room I got me a new vacuum cleaner you can see the sorry about the mess where's it oh right there it is you can see the uh, Hoover box behind me I got me a new vacuum cleaner and I love that damn thing you know I never thought when I was younger you know you get excited about buying new stuff you get excited about buying you know new four wheelers or new fishing poles or you know, getting your new truck or something like that you get all excited about that, but as you get older, your excitement changes toward different things. And I swear, dude, I was when I I ordered off of uh, BestBuy.com, and when that day I seen it, the UPS guy brought it and put it on the porch out there. I was happy as could be to get that vacuum cleaner, and I, I just sit there like, man, I, now I see why what it feels like to be old. When you're excited about getting a damn vacuum cleaner, just so you can clean your house, vacuum the spider webs off your ceiling. But it looks like it ain't an abandoned shack. Speaking of which, I see some more up there. I'm gonna have to vacuum again. But I was very happy, and I was really happy to get that bed too. And but I bought all that for five hundred and ninety dollars, which was a pretty good deal, I thought. And uh, but it put a hurt on my bank account. I'm not the richest guy in the world. I had some money saved up, but uh, I luck I didn't have to break into that too much. And uh, so I just used most of my check, but then last week I thought, you know, I had I had a you know a few hundred dollars left. I was like, I'll be alright. I can stretch it out for you know two weeks and be alright. Well, last week my dryer, my 1980 model dryer, decided to take his last breath. It quit working, so I ended up having to get a new dryer too. And I said, man, I'm gonna be broke time to get rid of this stuff. All this crap, you no. Know, I mean, I already put a hurt on with that bed and stuff, and now I gotta buy a dryer. They make cheap, you know. 
But luckily, my buddy, one of my buddies from high school, he had one left over. Uh, he was moving to a house that already had some brand new ones in it. And he had one that's, it, it, ain't, it ain't new new, but I mean, it's pretty new. He said he, he bought it new and he hadn't used it much because he had an older one that worked good. And uh, so I got it off of him for a hundred bucks. So it wasn't bad. And uh, me and my buddy Roy, we went and got it last Friday and uh, got it in here and stuff. It works pretty good. And uh, uh, I like it. Like it's like extreme heat, dude. Like you leave it on for like ten minutes, I'm about afraid I burn the damn house down. I mean, before I would said I wouldn't give a damn because I ain't got nothing in here worth anything. But now I got my bed and all that stuff in here. I don't want it to burn down. But it gets hot quick. It works good. I got me some Tide Pods to wash my clothes with. I had to get the fat-free version because I kept eating them and I got fatter. That was a joke. I don't eat Tide Pods. Anybody that eats Tide Pods is a moron. If you eat a damn Tide Pod, you're an idiot. Are you wanting to die? Anyway, I don't eat Tide Pods for the record. But uh, I love, I love, it's so much easier to just grab a pod out there, a couple pods, throw them in there, wash clothes, and you can go measure it out and shit and all that. And it's a lot better. I like it. I use the game ones too, I like, but I like the Tide, the tide better because of the different smell. I, I, a certain smell, I don't know what the hell it is. A certain smell, a certain kind I get, I love that smell. And I know I sound kind of gay right now, but I want my clothes to smell good, man. I, I need a woman. I'm trying to attract females. And you know you can only put so much cologne and stuff on. You know you can you can take a shower, wash your ass, and put some cologne on. But if your clothes stink, you ain't gonna get nowhere anyway because it's gonna absorb it all, and you're gonna smell like you climbed out of a sewer. So I want my clothes to smell good too. But yeah, that's what I've been doing the past couple weekends. My little boy, he just turned six. He had a birthday last weekend, and uh, he got him a new fishing pole and tackle box. And uh, he had a Spiderman fish pole before. And uh, I went fishing, I guess, about three weeks ago, the last time I went. And he, I've hooked some before. Like, he's caught a few fish before, like his first one, you know, first one. But I always hooked them for him to let him reel them in. But he had never caught his first, like, actually doing the whole thing, you know, hooking it and reeling it in both until three weeks ago. He, uh, he caught him a little horny head, and uh, which is, you know, I don't know if all y'all know what a horny head is. It's like a creek chub. You know, but uh, I think the actual name is like Central Stone Roller or some shit like that. But around here we call them horny heads. Because they got horns on their heads. But he caught a couple of them. And uh, I just told my buddy Roy, I remember mean, buddy Roy and Landon went, my boy, uh, Lil Wayne. And uh, he, uh, I told him, I said, Roy, it's about time. This is the summer. He's six years, gonna be six years old. It's time he catches his first fish by, by himself completely. That same day he caught his first fish by himself. The very first one was a grab hook, though. And I felt sorry for the fish, because he grab hooked it in the ass. And, uh, poor thing, it went up its asshole and come out its side. Landon was happy to be. And, uh, he started hollering, and it was a miracle and stuff. I was like, what the hell are you hollering at, son? And I went over and he grab hooked it, and I said, well, technically, that's your first one that you've ever hooked by yourself. And it got in, but it didn't bite, you know, but I still counted it. But then about five minutes later, Another horny head came out and bit, it, bit his line and he reeled it in and caught it. So he actually caught his very first one the right way. And uh, he ended up catching three that day. Got one more one more right before we left. And I didn't catch shit. That's the very first time my son has outfished me. And I guess I better get used to it. Because it probably won't be the last time. But I wouldn't want it any other way. I, and he, he loves fishing now though. And uh, yesterday he, he was going through his tackle box and stuff. Because I, I got me into it because mine... I had one that zipped up. It's like cloth with a strap on it. And it's so much easier to carry than a damn regular one of the plastic ones. And that way you, didn't, you can free your hand up to carry something else. And you're like, I like catfishing a lot. So you're a lantern or something. But uh, it got rained on. And it's it's older than the hills. It's like four years old. And it's just it's a mess. So I went ahead and got me a new one. So I was working on that yesterday. Switching my stuff over. So he decided he's going to get his out and go through it and stuff. And yeah, he got him a, he's got a stringer in there. And he said that. If he, you know, when he catches some big ones, he's going to put it on that stringer and keep them. I told him, you know, if, if you catch some big ones, we'll do it. But he begged me to take him fishing yesterday, and I just didn't have time. Because, you know, between work and he, he got to do his homework, and then 
while I work third shift, my dad had to come get him at night, and he stays with my dad while I work. And I pick him up from school, you know, after I, like, I probably should be asleep right now, but I go to bed and wake up and go get him. And then every other week, we I have him two weeks a month, and his mom has him two weeks a month. So this, tomorrow he'll be going back to his mama's, but I told him, as soon as he got back, the, you know, next week I have him, we'll try to take him some, so he can fish a little bit. Finally, spring has finally decided to show up. I swear, dude, like, it snowed until, like, two weeks ago. Like, it'd be 75 degrees one day, and then the next day, it'd be fucking snowing. It didn't stick real bad, but it still be snowing. It'd be, you know, 30 degrees. Well, like, it sucks. It was just the longest winter I'd ever faced in my 25 years of being on this earth. I've never seen a winter. What the hell? Get the hell out of here. Freeloading bastard? Anyway. Uh, yeah, winter in Johnson County, Tennessee lasts like six months. And finally, it is now May. And finally, all this week it's been in the 70s. And it's supposed to be like, again, it's like 77 today. So it's a nice week. And unfortunately, it's the week I have him. But he had a ball game Monday. He plays T-ball. So he had a ball game Monday. Tuesday, I had to work a double, so I didn't get to go to it, but he had another game. His mom took him. And uh, he's he's pretty good at it. I mean, he'd never played before, never played sports before. But uh, he struggled at first, but he learned quick, and he's actually one of the best players on the team. So that makes me proud, you know, that he's, maybe he'll be an athlete because my big ass ain't never been an athlete. I played T-ball. I played basketball, but I loved football. Now, I just never would play. I never could play because I was scared to death. I didn't want to be on defense. I wanted to be on offense. But I didn't want to be offensive line. I wanted to be like, you know, I want to be a playmaker. I want to be a receiver or, you know, something. But my fat ass couldn't run or really do anything else. So I knew if I played, I'd be, which if I'd been a linebacker, I'd been fine with that. But I wouldn't want to be on the line, the defensive line or the offensive line. I would not want to be on the lineman. I get tired of getting knocked on my ass, you know. Um, or, you know, I mean, you get wore out quick. You got to be tough with them, you know. Mm. Them like the linemen and stuff, they they take the the pounding the most. And uh but I, I wanted to be a, you know, important. Nobody really remembers a lot of defensive linemen or offensive linemen, but they remember the playmakers, they remember the linebackers, they remember the safeties, they remember the corners, you know, they remember all that stuff a lot of times. If they're good. But the way I was built I knew I'd been on the line, so I never played. So instead I played basketball and T ball when I was little and uh I mean I wasn't the best, but I mean I I played. But I think he's gonna he's a little little skinny feller. So I think if he can keep that body and build his speed up and stuff and you know, toughen up a little bit, I'm gonna try to put let him play football this fall. He said he wants to play. So I'm going I'm gonna let him play. And I hope the fastest he is, I hope he'll be a running back or a receiver. So I remember going outside with him in the evening, so I'm trying to got him like a, a Pee Wee style football, like the actual ones they use, you know, bought one. I mean, throwing it to him, trying to get him to learn how to catch, and I, you know, showed him how to tuck it and run and stuff. And I told him, I was like, as little as you are, you're probably playing two-handed touch because he's only six, you know. And uh, so I showed him. I said, when there's, I'm the defender. I'm gonna be coming at you. If I touch you both hands, you got That's you're down right there. That's, that counts as a tackle, you know. But I said, now as you get older, when you start playing tackle football, I said, if you are the running back or something, do not go down without a fight. Don't let them tackle you. I was like, I want to see you to stop and get plowed. I want you to put your helmet down. I want you to put your shoulder pad. I want you to take, to hit them as hard as they hit you. Because if you hit them just right, they're going to fall down and you can keep on going. I said, or you can stiff arm them. I showed them how to stiff arm everything. I said, but if they're going to tackle you, don't just go down without a fight. You know, hold on to that ball for your life. Don't fumble it. But put your damn shoulder pad into their helmet or their shoulders, whatever you got to do, and, and knock them down and keep on going. And so I showed him that. And I, that was just for reference, you know, for the future. Well, we did a, like, a kick return. I, you know, kicked it off to him, and I was like, all right, now you're going to run to the end zone. I'm going to try to get you. If I put my hands on you, know, you're out. You're down. Here he come running, hauling ass. My big ass come toward him. And I guess he thought I meant, like, every time put your shoulder into him. I wasn't expecting it, so I didn't get to brace myself. He come up, and uh, I come at him, and instead of running, I told him, I was going to try to avoid me. You know, juke to the side or something. Try to get away from that person. Don't let them touch you. But keep on going. Don't run back the other Because beginning with, he was running back the other way. Running, pull him out of bounds or anything else. He's like, you can't do that. 
But uh, but I showed him that he couldn't run it at me in that time. <laughs> he had it tucked in his uh, under his arm, man. And he come up to me, he just elbowed me right in the stomach, like uh, as hard as he could, and just kept on going, and knocked the breath out of me. I was like, Layden, you can't do that." I said, "That's good." You know, for future, I said, try to use your shoulder, not your elbow, but I said, that's a good way to get your arm broke if a, you know, 250-pound 7th grader comes and tackles your ass, but he got, he'll get the idea, you know, he's starting to learn T-ball pretty good, he, we're going to work on one thing at a time, but he's one of the best hitters on his team right now, his team sucks, honestly, like the other day at the game, the only one that's saying red suck was me, and that's bad. But his whole team sucks. But he he's decent. He's a decent player. He'll he'll be good as long as he keeps at it and keeps trying. He'll be good. But he uh, I don't know how I got sidetracked to that story. But I'm gonna try taking fishing next week when I get him that week next weekend. And I uh, got me a couple of days off. I got me uh, two extra days off next week when I get him back. So I have four a four day weekend. Thank God, finally. Put my PTO in, so I'm gonna try to hit him up. You know, he'll have to school Monday, but we can fish Friday, Saturday, and Sunday anyway, and maybe Monday evening. And uh, but I was ready to be off for a, a few days longer. I mean, two days I have Friday nights and Saturday nights off, and you know, basically all day Sunday, but Sunday night I gotta go back. And them 16 hour shifts are hard to recover from sometimes. I done one or well, Tuesday, like I said, but uh. It's been getting a little bit better. Not quite as bad. Not quite have to do as many doubles or anything. But, yeah. Well, this damn video's going on 16 minutes. I don't know. I do this every time. I apologize. I should make shorter videos so I can make more videos. That make more sense instead of one long one that nobody's probably going to watch. I ain't got a lot of subscribers. I'm still trying to get subscribers. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how people do it. I'm trying. Though. I'm just going to keep on being me and posting videos when I can. I'm going to try to do some dip reviews here soon. Uh, I still have yet to get the uh, the Outlaw outlaw snuff, you know, come out. He came out with uh, a new flavor not long ago, but I still ain't even got the one. I tried the Wild Watermelon. I honestly wasn't a big fan of it. I made a review on it on here. But he came out with uh, Backwoods Bourbon or whatever. Still have yet to try it because it's been sold out since it's come out, I swear. I don't know how people get it. Now he comes out with Lucky Lipper. Which is supposed to be like a Mountain Dew dip. And I've prayed to the gods of dip for somebody to come out with a Mountain Dew dip. And he finally did it. And it's supposed to taste a lot like Mountain Dew. So I'm excited to try it. So I'm going to try my best to order some soon. So, and I'll do a review on both of them here. And uh, also... Sorry about that. Also, uh, if y'all watch that all you know, uh, Siberia supposed to be the strongest snuff out there right now with snooze but the strongest nicotine level tobacco right now out and uh outlaw's done quite a few videos on it if you ain't watch, if you ain't familiar with outlaw go follow his channel outlaw and uh look watch the siberia videos they're funnier than hell but uh i'm gonna try to do it myself i'm gonna order me a can from uh the northern or whatever and uh when it comes i'm gonna do a review on it I ain't gonna put more. I'll put two pouches in, but from the looks of it, I'm not gonna put no more than that. But uh, I'll try it and do a review on it. Then I'll try to get. I might get my buddies, uh, Justin and Roy. I'll get. I can try to get a video of them trying it and see how they react to it. And especially Roy. Roy don't dip. He did. He dips snooze all the time, but he don't dip like snuff. Actual snuff. My buddy Justin, he dips as much as I do. So it probably won't affect Justin as much. But now Roy, he's only. He's like a hit and miss. He's more of a smoker. And uh, I guess he wants to get lung cancer, but I'm on. I'm I, I can, I'm really excited. I mean, Justin might have the same reaction as Roy does, but I seriously doubt it. But Roy, I, I have a good feeling he's probably gonna puke. So I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make him put two or three pouches in, and I'm gonna see how he, I'm gonna get him on video and see how he reacts to it. And I hope to God he pukes, cause it'll be funnier than hell. But I know that's mean to me, but. Hell, we, that's like my brother. Me and Justin and Roy, we're like the three stooges. We've been like brothers. We might as well be brothers for going on 12 years now. That's the best friends I got on this earth. But I'm going to try to do some uh, fishing stuff, man. I, I need to get me like a uh, tripod or something to set my, like to hold a phone so I can get some fishy, fishing videos up or just try and get 
I would let Landon hold the damn phone, but he'd probably throw the phone in the water, so I probably wouldn't do no good. But finally, I'll get to where I can set it up and you know get some fishing videos, and catch some. The bluegills will start biting soon. And the bass will be on the bed since it's finally warming up. Maybe get some fish and stuff and on videos, and then we'll go from there. Still want to drive, do some funny stuff, cause we act like idiots. That that Siberia video, if I get it, I'm gonna order it. That one's Roy probably funnier than hell. I don't know about Justin, but Roy. Y'all gotta watch that because it's probably gonna be funny. But, and he don't watch any of my videos on here, so he has he'll probably have no idea what Siberia is, Siberia is or nothing. So I'm just gonna tell him that it, it's really good, really good uh, new kind of snooze to come out. And I'm I'm just gonna keep it at that. And I'm gonna make him put two or three pouches in. <laughs> then we're gonna watch it. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some fishing stuff up soon and. Uh, I these damn mud jugs, man. You can't keep them clean. Like, I washed them. I had one. I made a mistake. I left one, like, full of spit for, like, a week. And it smelled like something died in this thing. And I washed it. And it's clean now. I washed it, but it still smells like that. You can't, I mean, it's hard to get them clean. But if you uh, ain't got your mud jug yet, I, I love these things. I'd, uh... I like my roadie the best, the one with the rubber flag skulls on it. But I ain't, I washed it. I ain't took it back to the truck yet. I just been spitting in bottles in the truck. But uh, this one, I, I try to use much as I can while I'm in here. But uh, get you a mud jug if you ain't got one. They're usually they, sometimes they have a sale on them. A lot of times you go check it out. And uh, so I, and a lot well about you know months two ago when I got that one, they had one where if you buy one you get one for free. That's how I got this one. This one was a free one, and I bought the roadie. And, uh, I mean, they ain't the cheapest things, but, you know, uh, it's worth it. But, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try to post some more videos soon and keep his, keep his shit going better than I have been. And I apologize. And I, I still try to, you know, still try to get subscribers. I ain't got many. I think I got 17 or 18. And I don't even know if any of y'all even watch these videos or not. I know maybe one or two of them do. But, uh, Help me get some subscribers, you know. Tell, me, tell your friends about me or something. We'll, we'll try to get this thing going a little bit. And see where it goes. But, uh... I guess I'm gonna hit the bed, so... Y'all take it easy, and... Don't do nothing I wouldn't do, and if you do, name it after me. <laughs> but this has been Tennessee T. Wayne. Coming at you. I'll probably see you in three months. Sadly. I'll try not to let it be three months, but... If it is... I'll see y'all then. Get your dip on. Pack your fatty. I did it before I even started the video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Girl Scout, keep your girl down. Keep your gown down. Sorry about that. I'm retarded.